Non suoniamo naturalmente soltanto brani in inglese. Eh. We're not just playing English or American song. Ma eh, naturalmente suoniamo anche dei brani internazionali. But we also do. Like, like this one. Like the next one. Ah. Ah. Okay. Siamo pronti. We are ready to start. Speaking about the United States and speaking about the Italian restaurants which are all over the world, our cuisine is one of the favorites and it lists as one of the top three in the world. Uh, in other countries, I suggest that when you are operating or have intentions to open up something of a business or work in a business, I suggest to at least decide on a compromise. We need a compromise because we are invading someone else's culture and we are bringing some of ours in their culture. And so it's very hard to sell 100% of what we believe uh, as a nation. Uh, it's hard to sell as it is the, our culture, our food culture, our history. And so I believe in, in making a compromise. I operate in the United States, I uh, cook and serve excellent Italian cuisine, but I, use, uh, I also utilize some of the ingredients from the United States, ingredients that American people can recognize. Certainly, we have Michelin star here that we've had in uh, this summit, in this world summit of Italian cuisine, but they operate entirely in a different mentality. Uh, their, uh, message is for a smaller, um, uh, should I say, uh, group of people, a smaller audience. I'm in a country where there are almost 280 million people. And so compromising for me is very important because it is the key of success. Making people feel like they are part of your world. They trust you, you cook for them, you take care of their well-being. And so why not make a little compromising and not so much be stubbornly rooted into your own authenticity. So I do make some variation in my menu and I'm very proud of it. I see. 